What a great morning in Eorzea. Surely nothing has changed and everything is just the same. Where did all the cat boys go? Okay, okay. You win. It's the year after rabbits. You get a VIP pass. Just don't hurt my cat girl's feelings. She's already dying from the lack of cat boys. Hey, it's AV Cat. And this is 10 reasons why you should play Aviera in Final Fantasy XIV. In this series, I encourage your Fantasia addiction. So sit back, sip on your Fantasia, and enjoy the ride. Reason 1. Have you seen how pretty they are? It's just unfair every time i see another viera in game i have to resist the urge to buy another fantasia they might have their little flaws too but they definitely deliver on the looks and that's the most important thing for most mmrpg players we like staring at pretty pixels on our screens prettier the better i think these pixels are trying to seduce me honestly it's really not hard to see why viera is a popular race they are hot yeah, that's it. That's just it. Do you need more reasons? I don't think you do. You thirsty person. I'll give you nine more just in case. Reason two. Soft boys. We all know them. We all love them. We all cherish them. They are so cute and adorable. Their soft and feminine features make them very unique among other male character models in 14. I love that they made males shorter than females for this race. And their feminine looks make so much sense too. According to the lore, male and female Viera look identical at birth. Only when they reach adulthood, males become distinguishable from females. I think they tried to stay loyal to the lore while creating male Vieras, and they did such a good job. Thank you, Square Enix, for blessing us with the e-boys of 14. Reason 3. Unique hairstyles. Okay, can we just pause a moment and appreciate all these unique hairstyles we of us have? They have more unique hairstyles than most of the other races in 40. And while some of the different hairstyles are shared between different races, these hairstyles can be used only by Viera. Everyone's always talking about the hairstyles they can't yet use. But what if I want to use these hairstyles as a Mikote? They are all stunning. Yes, it's annoying that I can't use some of the hairstyles in game, but they already have the best ones. I want it! Give me your hair! I talked about this hat and hairstyle issues of Viera in one of my previous videos, but I'll just mention it here as well. The producer of the game revealed that Rotkar and Viera will be the final races added to Final Fantasy XIV. With that information and knowing that there will be a major graphics update in the near future, it's safe to say they will be focusing on the current races we already have in game. That means more hairstyles and more hats for Viera. And that's your copy in for today. You're welcome. Reason 4. Glamours look great on your character. Well, all glamours except for hats. For now, a taller character means a bigger canvas for the amazing glamour plays you make. And we are one of the most elegant tall races in 40. Your only competition is Alison, but everyone knows they are just a legend. Finding winning game is as rare as rolling 99 to an extreme trial mount. It's nearly impossible, so you get to be the special tall one. I have a question though. How do you measure a Viera's height? Like this? Or like this? Comment down below. And no, don't go into the character creation and try to cheat. I'm asking how you would measure them, not the game. Don't be a sneaky, sneaky snake. We're just having fun. Oh my god, my voice is dead. Reason 5. Viera have one of the best race specific gear in 14. I'm pretty sure many people have many different reasons to like this gear a lot. And those reasons have many, many polygons. Let's be honest, they knew what they were doing when they decided this is the race specific gear for Viera. Not that anyone is complaining. We we love them. We love them a lot. What I like the most about this gear is that you can dye it and easily combine it with the other gear in game. I've seen some VR players get really creative with these pieces and they always look amazing. Those pantalets and shoes look ridiculously good when combined with some of the dresses in game. And when you combine that top with a short skirt, oh la la, it's a piece of art. And of course don't think I forgot about my precious bunny boys. They get boots with claws on them, how cool is that? They also seem to carry an extra knife just in case there's an emergency it's also fashionable it's a statement piece reason six i hate to be that person but come on they are just showing it into your faces if i made a tier list of all the butts in your zia viero would be all the way up the top listen i'm the kind of person who used a fantasia just to max out my cat girl's chest size stop judging me i have problems and i'm aware of them even with all the maxed out sliders and mikote looks like a stick figure next to a viera we have to either nerf viera butts or buff the rest of the butts in your zia no it's an actual game breaking problem i'm very serious a game without butt sliders unplayable 
adorable. Male Vera also have curves, but it's mostly on their spine. Reason 7. Elegant animations. This was the reason I got from most of my FC members when I asked them why they play a Viera. While Viera animations are not the most animated in game, they are definitely one of the most appealing ones. They have one of the best race specific dances. And guess what? It looks great when you spam it. Just whenever you do it, make sure you turn off the text messages for your emotes. It takes one click. Don't be that guy who flutes the chat with their emotes. Most Viera animations are very calm and composed, with a touch of flirty, of course. And they look great overall. I personally really love how confident they look whenever they're walking around. I think they have the perfect body language for the border of light. It's exactly how I imagine a main character would walk around. Reason 8 cute bunny noses. This might not be one of the popular reasons to play Ariera, but I find their bunny-like noses really cute. It gives them a slight beast-like appearance as an addition to their bunny ears. I know some people who are not a big fan of that design choice. Of course, it's all up to your taste, but I don't agree with that. I really like being able to recognize a race just by looking at their faces. Little details like that give more flavor to a fantasy world, in my opinion. It also looks adorable. Fight me if you disagree. You know I'm always down to fight. Reason 9. Yes, it's that part of the video where I talk about the lore and roleplay and all that geeky stuff. Final Fantasy XIV has a huge roleplay community and it will be wrong to not look at things from a roleplayer's point of view. A majority of Viera live in Golmore jungle under a strict code named the Green Bird. Imagine them like very secluded forest elves, but with bunny ears. Those who leave the forest to discover the world are forever banished and can never return. I know, it sounds horrible, but it makes it easier to write a backstory for your Viera. Once once your character leaves the jungle, they are free to do whatever they feel like doing. You don't have to come up with an edgy backstory to explain what they are doing today. Wandering Viera also tend to give themselves city names. This can be a name inspired by other races or anything really. Which means naming your Viera Don't Vintage will be actually lore accurate. I love this game so much. Reason 10. Sentimental reasons. Viera have been a race in Final Fantasy series for a long time. When they announced Viera is gonna be one of the playable races in 14, people were naturally so excited to play as the same race as one of their favorite characters in the previous games. Yes, I'm talking about Fren. She's always been a fan favorite and for a reason. She is precious. She's a wise and strong-willed huntress and her voice acting was so good that her voice lives rent-free in my head. And and these are the 10 reasons why you should play Avira. Are you not convinced yet? Then you should comment down below what Final Fantasy XIV race I should make a video about next. Or you can check the video I made about Mikote. I'll be making a video about every Final Fantasy XIV race, so if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for future content. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay cozy!